Relative to the defense, defensive line uh, obviously is an area that it appears they would be upgrading. Do you think they go higher end free agent? Do you think they go a couple of guys that are mid to bargain free agents? Or do they go draft? Probably some combination of all of that. <laughs> you know, I think higher end free agent, that's going to be tough. There are only so many. And now Jerron Payne's been franchised. So if you're looking on the interior of the defensive line, you can cross his name off the list. I think there are, you know, the high end, the uh, Hargrave coming out of Philadelphia would be interesting. But it's probably more likely that you'll get, say, somebody like a Sheldon Rankins, the former first-round pick. You could get on a one-year deal, played good football for the Jets a year ago, or the, his, his running mate on the Jets as well. So I think there's some options on the interior that would be cheaper. I think this is a great edge draft class. So it wouldn't surprise me. I think a lot of people are looking at the second round thinking defensive tackle there. It, it probably is going to end up being an edge or potentially a speed-wide receiver, which is the one thing that they need on offense. So I think they're going to attack it in a variety of ways. They always do. If you look historically, they would draft a guy and then also sign a guy in that position. So that would be my guess. You're going into it right now. You've got Miles as a starter for sure. The rest of your defensive line, you maybe need three new starters. You're hoping that Perrion Winfrey, who showed big flashes over the second half of last season, that he can continue to develop and kind of sort out some of the things associated with becoming a professional in the NFL. But there are holes on that defensive line. I think that is, you know, that's the biggest need on this football team right now. So I think you will have to attack it with multiple assets. The guys that they had that were rookies a season ago, that I mean, they didn't blow anybody away, but you don't expect a guy to come in that you drafted in the third, fourth, or fifth round sure. and, and do that. Are these guys that you think Jim Schwartz kind of tweaks a little bit and has, they have a little bit more success? Well, I would say MJ Emerson was excellent Absolutely. In, in his rookie season, the third rounder, the, our first pick in the draft, but you're talking more on the defensive line. And, and so that comes down to Alex Wright, didn't have a sack as a rookie. You know, they knew he was a project coming from uh, University of Alabama, Birmingham, that it was going to take him some time. But, you know, the time is now. And that's one of the questions that I'm sure they're t- Can Alex Wright start for us? Is he ready to start for us? And certainly from a pass rushing standpoint, you would say no. So he's somebody, though, that clearly is in the mix. But you probably need to add to that a veteran pass rusher on the outside. Perry and I thought showed excellent flashes. But, you know, some of it is just kind of understanding what it takes to be consistently good week in and week out in this league. But I think he's the one that has the talent. I think on the fourth round for a lack of talent because of talent issues. He's the one who has the talent, I think, to become a star in this defense. Jim Schwartz has always had a pro bowler on the defensive tackle in that defensive tackle room, and I think that's an opportunity there with Perry on Winfrey to take a big step forward. And I think Perry on Winfrey probably realizes that. This is a guy that can make he can make a career for me if I if I do the right thing.